Hi there, this is Lynn Allen and thank you for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Now today we're going to continue talking about the tip that I gave you a couple weeks ago. We're going to talk a little bit more about the Quick Access Toolbar. Now the Quick Access Toolbar, that's this guy in the upper left hand corner of the screen, right? In case you're just joining us. <laughs> this is one right up here. And we love the Quick Access Toolbar. Why? Because it's always there. No matter what you do, it's always there. Kind of <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter what tab of the ribbon you're on, the quick access toolbar is always there and ready with your favorite commands. If you customize it, you can put your most frequently used commands up there and grab them really quickly whenever you need them. That is why we call it the quick access toolbar. Brilliant. <laughs> and that's why we're going to learn to make a drop down list to go on the quick access toolbar. Because you know, it's not very long, it's not very big. You can't put too many commands on there. But if you have a drop down list, that gives you the ability to add all kinds of commands to it. All right, so let me show you how easy it is to do. So we're going to go into the CUI command. Now, the CUI command is kind of a scary looking command, but it's a lot easier than it looks. But it doesn't matter. If you're not a CUI expert, don't worry about it because you just have to be able to drag and drop. Hey, we can all drag and drop. Okay, right? I know you can drag and drop. So if you take a look in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, the customization files you'll see here is an option for quick access toolbar. You might even have more than one, but most of us only have one quick access toolbar. And if you keep clicking on the little pluses, you'll see that it shows you the commands that you currently have in the quick access toolbar. These are the ones I have anyway. All right, so now we want to add a drop down list. This is so easy. Just click on quick access toolbar one, whichever one you're customizing, and just right click and say new drop down. That's easy, right? We can all do that. Now it pops it at the very end of the quick access toolbar, but you can move it anywhere you want to. It's completely up to you. Once again, just by dragging and dropping. I'll just leave it there for now. Now I don't like the name new drop down. What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything to me. So customize it. I'm going to say Lynn's Faves. You will not say Lynn's Faves unless your name happens to be Lynn though. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now right now it's not a very exciting toolbar. There's nothing in it. So we're going to change that. We're going to add our favorite commands. All right. So I'm going to come down here and I don't know what's a command. Erase. We use that one a lot. That's easy. And then simply drag and drop it. And the first time I want you to drag and drop it right. You'll see the little arrow right there, right next to that arrow. All right, now it says primary command. I'm gonna explain that to you in a second. Don't worry about that. You're like, where'd that come from? But there you have erase. All right, so that's our first one, easy. Okay, let's go grab some more commands. How about trim? That's a command we use all the time too, right? I'm gonna grab trim and I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna drop it right between primary command and erase just to make sure I get it on in the right location. So it's easy when you're dragging and dropping to miss especially if you've had a latte or something right before you did it, and you might end up dropping it somewhere else. Don't worry, just pick it up and keep moving it so that it lines up underneath primary command. That's the key. It just needs to line up so that you make sure it's part of that drop down. All right, let's see what else. Oh, I can't lie. I'm a fan of Hangman. You heard me talk about Hangman. It's a free app you can get on the AutoCAD Exchange or the Autodesk Exchange. I'm going to drag and drop that right up here. Once again, I'm going to drop it right in the middle to make sure it lines up. All right, let's do one more. Hmm. How about the line command? That's easy. We all use that one all the time. Once again, just pick your favorite commands. And maybe you're going to make several drop downs. So maybe there'll be maybe specific dimensioning commands and then maybe specific editing commands. Whatever. It's completely up to you. All right. So it takes a little bit to find line because there are so many commands with the word line in it. Once again, drag and drop. And so far, I was lucky. I was a good shot. But I won't lie to you. Sometimes I miss and I have to move it around. So see how they all line up? That's exactly the way I want it. Now, of course, when you get done, make sure you say an OK. You want to save the changes that you made after all that hard work. And it takes a second for AutoCAD to think. And there it is. So here is my drop down list. And you'll see if I drop this down, trim, line, hangman, and erase. Now, if you recall, there was that option that said primary command. So watch if I pick erase. Notice how erase lands on the top and it stays there. It becomes the primary command on that drop down list. I come down here and I hit hangman, you'll see hangman shows up. I don't really want to pick it. I don't really want to play. Well, I do want to play hangman. We're going to get rid of that. <laughs> come down here and pick line and so on and so forth. 
So it's very simple to add a drop down list to your quick access toolbar. And I want you to do it, all right? Get as much as you can out of AutoCAD, be as efficient as possible, set it up to work exactly the way you work and you're gonna get your job done faster. And that's gonna give you more time to do things that are a little bit more fun, right? Or more work. <laughs> so thank you for joining me and I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Take care.